Hey, Collective, it's your girl, Spiritual Sage. Let's see what messages Spirit got for y'all today. I saw thoughts with bad health. What's, what's going on in Pathway? Okay. Spirit. Maybe someone's getting over COVID. My condolences. Or, you know, it could just be like pneumonia or a simple cold. All right, so we have the distant horizon coming up in the reverse. This is kind of like the three of wands. So there could have been some waiting in the past. I feel like there ain't no more waiting for whatever this is. Yeah, someone could be wanting to get on a... This, this pathway is like the two of wands. No more waiting. Something has happened. Maybe someone recovered. Maybe someone's not sick anymore. I don't know. Let's cut it down and see. Now we got two of cups at the bottom of the deck. What's the message, spirit? What's the message? Okay. So you have the Knight of Wands. Something fast coming through here. This Knight of Wands is fast moving energy. Very passionate with a little cell. Somebody's favorite color is red, yellow. Somebody got, uh, what you call them, scarves? Yeah, your scarf is yellow and black. Okay, maybe you tie your hair up at night or something. Now, we got the Six of Wands here. Oh, okay. With the Hangman and the Reverse and the uh, Knight of Pentacles in the Reverse. Hmm. Someone is looking at something totally different. Someone is seeing something or someone as success. But whoever this is knew, knew that they had to end something else. Yeah, I'm here. You're breaking my heart. Wow. And, it, you know, this person didn't want to do it for a long time. And they started to retreat. Because we saw the thoughts with the bad hell. Okay, this person has been watching someone that they want to be with. But they were in something else. And they knew that they had to re release that in order to come and get on a different pathway. But they were going to hurt this person. And it's like, you know, this per if this is you, you could be a people pleaser. And so, you're like, no, I don't want to hurt. My uncle always tells me, he said, Ebony, I just try to live the, my life as best as I can, as long as I'm not hurting anyone else. You know, because we were talking about God and spirituality and stuff like that. He said he just try to live his life the best, to his, the best that he can and make sure he ain't hurt nobody else. And my uncle's a Sagittarius, okay? Um, so... That's what I'm getting here. Somebody don't want to hurt someone else. It's like they don't love that person. They're not in love with that person. Their they eyes and they mind and their heart is with someone else. But they knew they had to, they were gonna hurt this person to leave them. So they stayed in their head and it caused this person to start retreating. It also causes this person to start having some health issues with that bad health card. And it's because this person wasn't living in their truth. You know, for a while you can get a, away with faking and lying but eventually uh, as above so below what's going on on the end is going to reflect on the out and so because this person wasn't being authentic and yeah, they may have gotten sick or something like that y'all somebody knows they have to end something they're gonna have to hurt somebody yep possibly a marriage or a relationship they're gonna have to end it and they could have had this person stuck like right? you know especially if they Maybe they have a family with the other person or married or whatever. It's like, damn, we got all these. And, you know, when you're in a relationship or in a marriage, it's not just that person. You have family and mutual friends and all of that. Somebody was thinking about that. Like, what am I? What are we going to tell the kids? I don't want to hear what my parents got to say, what my family got to say, what the friends going to say. People going to look at me different. Somebody was carrying all of that holding it in holding all of that in okay whoa all right so now you have yeah but see this person that were committed to someone else they want to commit to you king of pentacles with the eight of wands <laughs> but there's been waiting what did i say with this call i said this distant horizon is like the three of wands it's coming up in the reverse this person was waiting because they kept going back and forth in their head how can I do this? I, 
to be honest with you, they weren't even contemplating doing it. This was somebody who was just going to stay in the situation and be hurt themselves to please everybody else around them. But doing so caused this person some type of bad health, stress, st stress. That's what happens when you are not living in your truth. Okay? Because they see something as their complete wish fulfillment. Uh, Nine of Cups with the Six of Wands. So, what's going to happen, Spirit? Somebody's going to speak some truth. Also, the King of Swords is a divorced person. This person could be asking. Because King of Pentacles is someone who's committed. The King of Swords is a divorced individual. And then there's the Queen of Swords. Oh, shit. Mm. Maybe this person already done got this damn divorce. Okay. Waiting, waiting. No more waiting. Get on this path. So for some of you, this person is already divorced. Three of Swords. Because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is something coming to a complete halt. And it, it happened because someone was hurt. They weren't living their truth, like I just explained. So I'm going to tell you, remember when I said this person's like, well, what are my family and friends? Because someone has a lot of attention on them. This could be the person who just ended a marriage. They got a lot of people watching them. So the wait, I feel like the reason this person may have been waiting, the ex-spouse could have been watching them. Family and friends could have been watching them. Trying to see what they're going to do, where they're going to go next. Okay, so this is someone who's just been focusing on themselves. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Trying to give enough time in between. It's like this right here. Somebody is in a relationship or was in a relationship. They already knew the person that they wanted to be with. They were already in love with this person, right? But they're not telling. Of course, they're not going to tell this person that they are married with, uh, married to. So it's like, I'm going to get a divorce from this person. I'm just telling. Maybe this connection had been over. But again, you have someone here who tends to people please. Okay, just period. So the relationship been done, but people were settling. Well, all of a sudden, now the pinnacle's in reverse. Something comes to a complete hope. People's heartbroken. And so now people could have been mad at this king of swords. Like I said, somebody got a lot of attention. People watching them, trying to figure out where they're going, what they're doing. So this has been someone who's just been waiting, going back and forth in the head. Is now the time, is now the time, is now the time. Because they want to be able to have a brand new beginning, like a fair shot with you. This person doesn't want their family and their friends judging you because two people have split up. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. It's like this King of Pentacles, yeah. Yeah, they had mutual friends, but this king of swords has friends and family that are near and dear to this person that they hope that they can bring you around and they will not be judging you as like a homewrecker or something like that. Oh, well, that's the reason. Because if they just got this divorce and they went right over there to you, that would have been too soon, especially if there's kids involved. It would have just been too soon. So someone is just letting some time pass. Okay, but well, like I said with the three of wands here, this is waiting energy. It's in the reverse. No more waiting. Because ain't no telling how long they've been in this shit. All right. Damn. When this person come towards you, they already know they want to marry you. So that's what I'm saying, man. This person stayed in the marriage, King, Queen of Swords, something that was already over, but people were settling, possibly for the material or because they didn't want to hurt folk, they didn't want to break up the family. But y'all know the King, Queen of Swords is a married couple who can't even stand each other for real, for real. Every time they talk, they're cussing each other out. They got the swords up, right? So it's like, as this person's in, currently in a marriage, they see the person that they can be successful with. They're, they're matched, King and Queen of Pentacles. So they're getting this, they done got this divorce. And they got all these family and friends watching them trying to see their next move. Because people want, they, they got to blame some damn body. They want somebody to be mad at. The Queen of Swords wants to be mad at somebody. When these people know good damn well the relationship been over, they were just settling. 
So the Queen of Swords got to be want to be mad at somebody. The family and friends who who like these two people being together, they want to be mad at somebody. So bringing you in, hang y'all, my battery dying. Hold on. Somebody watches you a lot, or watches something on on a phone or a TV or something like that. But anyway, so bringing you right in right after that, even though they know for one hundred percent facts that you're the person. Bringing you in like that would not have been. This King of Swords is intelligent. They're very smart, okay? Just period. Bringing you in that quick, it wouldn't have went well. But somebody already know the path. Hangman in the reverse, they already know the path that they want to go toward. They already know just period. But there's some hurt motherfuckers around. The, the Queen of Swords is hurt and angry. Family and friends hurt and angry. Somebody's just trying to give, give it some time. And I, I understand it. Uh-huh. Give it some time before they move forward okay i get it i get it yeah because something just ended like i said with the knight of pentacles in the reverse that is something coming to a complete end a marriage here has ended it should have ended a long time ago but it didn't for whatever reason whether it be material or just afraid of what motherfuckers was gonna say the king of swords was just settling and somebody wants somebody, people want to blame somebody for why it didn't work. Oh, y'all was such a good couple. Y'all was finna head to 10 years. What, you know, what happened? Y'all could have worked it out. And then all of a sudden they see a new person. They're going to blame this new person. That's the reason you left the Queen of Swords for a Queen of Pentacles. Who is this hussy? You know, this King of Swords know what they're doing. Whether it's a man or a woman, they know what they're doing. Okay. So, baby. Well, spirit, it's like they want to give family time. Yeah. For a long time, this person has not been taking action. They themselves have been healing. They've been giving family and friends time. Like, get used to seeing me without this queen of swords. When I come over, for some of y'all, it could have been a whole year. It could have been a whole year of fucking holidays that the family and friends ain't seen these two people together. Somebody is doing it the right way. I, I personally feel. But so now you got the four swords. Yeah, he had to give family and friends time to heal. He or she. So I get it. I get it. Okay? Before he come and bring his love, I'll tell you. But that's exactly what he about to do. I, listen, I can't never make this shit up. Baby. Anything else, spirit? This somebody who ain't saying nothing to you. But you best believe they know they in love with you. Watch the fuck out you. Okay? They know they in love with you. And they coming with the offer. Y'all, I can't make it up. Where we at? 12 minutes. We don't even need to keep going. They somewhere in her mode watching fuck out you. Allowing these family and friends to heal. It be irking this king of swords. When they go around certain family members. They say, well, oh, what a queen of swords. He won't need folk to hurt him. He is, he can go and do what it is he got to do. So when people ask about, well, have you talked to him? Y'all ain't thinking about getting back together. He like, man, damn. Why don't y'all just let well enough alone? So. Hell, me want to hear that shit come. Yeah, because whoever they was married to could have been a Capricorn, but I feel like it was toxic. What did I tell you now? I said the relationship been over. People were settling. They were settling in this relationship possibly for family or money. Either way. I mean, you know, stability. So, child. People always bring up this other person. And they got, I'm going to tell you right now. This king of, excuse me. This king of swords, he got some people in his family who really, really loved the queen of swords. Okay. Now, sometimes people just grow apart, right? Um, and that could be the situation here. Maybe the Queen of Swords was doing all she could for this King of Swords. And people just grow apart. People fall out of love. Same way they fall in, they fall out. Okay? Um, like I said, people want somebody to blame. But the King of Swords got some motherfuckers in his family. It don't matter if it had been 10 years since he had done divorced this person. Soon as you come around, they going to ask about that Queen of Swords. People like that like get drama started. But let me tell you this. Because this King of Swords is trying to respect the family and let these motherfuckers heal. 
whoever is dumb enough to bring up this queen of swords when you are around, this king of swords gonna stand up for you to that family member. I already see it. I already see it. He know who in his family who, uh, I'm saying he doing it the right way. Putting how he feel to the side. Somebody already know the path that they want to go toward. They were waiting. Let these family members get out their fucking feelings about. I don't even understand why you all in my relationship. <coughs> why this family and friends all in this person's relationship any damn way. But maybe that's the type of relationship they had. Maybe all of the people would gather and come to their house on Sundays. Or they would come over there and watch the game. Or they would, you know. So they had to give folk time. So they've been holding back what they felt, what they want. Been watching you in hermit mode. Um, what's that? Okay, I guess that four of pentacles. Eight of cups. What's the back of that? Okay, eight of cups. Tower. Somebody's coming out of there because they want to be happy. It just period. They've waited long enough. I literally said this distant horizon is the three of wands. I said somebody ain't waiting no more. They, they were for a long time. And they're like, okay, it's, it's not a time. It's not a time. But somebody would always come around and ask about this Queen of Swords. And if it's not other family members, maybe somebody was still dealing with the Queen of Swords. Like if they got a child together, she could they could have been divorced for six months and she's still trying to see if they can get back together. Somebody here was letting someone heal, just peer. Because see, somebody's still holding on. Now, I tell folks, once you have spoke your truth, uh, you don't tell somebody you don't want that no more. If you are being honest, you know, and I see two motherfuckers being honest, and you done told them you don't want them no more, them holding on, continuing to hold on, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You can't walk around and feel guilty for that because people telling you, oh, I ain't going to make it without you. I don't know what to do without you. That ain't got nothing to do with you. If you done spoke your truth and told them what it is and what the fuck it ain't, and they still deciding to hold on and watch you go out there and live your life. That's not on you. It's just not. I don't care what nobody say. It's just not on you. So temperance, sun, ten of pentacles, somebody is like, okay, shit. I done waited long enough. Y'all motherfuckers need to get over it. We ain't together no more. It is what it is. Get used to seeing her ass on that side of town. And I'm over here. Got to get used to it. And if you ain't going to get used to it, then get the hell on now anything else for you because it's either either the queen of swords yeah somebody listen what i tell you i said even though this person's not talking to you they know they know they in love with you okay that that damn ace of cup and that the damn ace of pentacles from who this person that's in hermit mode waiting before they come and reconcile or, or come and celebrate with you for a lot of you well i ain't gonna say it because i don't know how you met this person it's gonna be different for all of y'all but for the majority of you, this is someone who was in a, ma a, a marriage that they were not happy. They were settling for whatever the fuck this Ten of Pentacles is symbolic to, okay? And just wanted to give it enough time. I feel like whoever the King of Swords is, is doing shit the right way. Because it's going to be a bunch of drama. And they know it's still going to be a few people who got something to say about you. And what this King of, of Swords is doing. Cause they all in this damn business six of ones he got a lot of people watching every damn thing that he do this is him and look at all the people in the back and they got at least one hater and now it could be the queen of swords or somebody in her family or somebody in his family okay but the decision has been made it is what it is it's like damn if i done got over her ass why the fuck y'all can't get over it people be doing stupid shit when they go to to, to eat they, they'll sit there, they got the whole table and everybody around the table and you got an empty ass seat right here you got one dumb ass fool who got to say oh, I'm so used to seeing the queen of swords right there oh, it's gonna be so different they divorced a fucking year ago why in the fuck is you still bring that shit up you got motherfuckers don't want you to hear, child huh, you got motherfuckers don't want you to hear like, how the fuck is that Queen of Swords not being there keeping you from eating your damn fried chicken? Shut your ass up and eat that damn chicken. Damn. What else, spirit? Yeah, two of swords. People don't want to see this person. Damn. See, that's what you get when you let a lot of motherfuckers in your business. 
This two of swords fell, fell on top of this pathway, which is the two of wands. So a lot of motherfuckers do not want to see this person move on to someone else, or at least one person. Someone here does not want to see this person move on. Damn. Oh, Lord, I have mercy here. Oh, my God. All them cards came out. Page of Wands. I'm going to read them because they all jumped out. <laughs> Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. Oh, hell no. Ten of Wands. High Priestess with the Will of Fortune. Remember I said some, it's a hater. At least one hater. So as your person is watching you, trying to get these folks that respectable time to fucking heal, you got somebody watching you. Trying to make life hard. Trying to see how they can sabotage this thing. You might even hear from this person. You might hear from this queen of swords or a family member who in their fucking feelings. Okay? Want to try to make shit hard from you, for you. Because this person's getting on their right path here. Spirit is telling somebody to move in silence just period. Shouldn't have to. You should be able to live your life how in the fuck you want to live it. For a lot of you, it's either family or this queen of swords who ain't letting go and even though your person but see your person needs to realize the reason that they're doing it is so that they, this person won't move on they keep up drama so this person won't move on so this man sitting here well I'm trying to get him time to heal no fuck that you, it's time for you to look at this differently hey man in the reverse this queen of swords keep barging in your life because they know what you're doing. They know you're trying to allow them to fucking heal. So they're going to keep doing this shit so you won't move on. Fuck that. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. Go on and do what it is that you need to do. Okay? Yes. Step in your power. Come out this hermit mode. Go on step in your power and do what it is that you need to do. And Spirit says, that's the damn truth. That's the damn truth. So... There's a commercial on TV. It's called Great. What is it? When your eyes get red and water all the damn time. Somebody ain't sleeping. It's like all somebody does is watch either this King of Swords or watch where this King of Swords wants to go and try to see how they can sabotage them. They eyeballs is red as fuck. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. And this person's doing spell work, too. Good God Almighty, child. Lord, have mercy. That's why the devil came out here. Yeah. What else, spirit? That's crazy. Okay. If you get nervous, focus on service here. What's at the bottom of the deck? Because y'all are protected. And he need he, you and this person need to clear yourself. And go and follow your heart release this somebody could be holding on to i don't want to say guilt but just the belief of i can't move into this too soon but somebody's already been waiting for a long time and that's why the hangman is in the reverse spirit is like you need to look at this from a different perspective someone knows exactly what they're doing they know what type of individual you are. This person's very respectable. They know this, okay? That king and queen of swords, they know each other like the back of the hand. But this queen of swords knows that this king of swords is in love with somebody else. Why they watching and trying to see how they can sabotage you. Someone has to step in their power. The strength card is the only card in the deck that overcomes the devil. So I do see this king of swords being victorious. People are going to be mad because this relationship is going to move fast. Eight of Wands is unstoppable forward movement. The King of, the King and Queen of Pentacles, collective, this is you and, and this King of Swords. That shit going to move fast. Is there anything else, Spirit? Yeah, okay. So Spirit says something is a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of the answer prayer. Okay, because whoever that is that's in hermit mode, which I feel like is that king of sword, they've been praying. That's that two of pentacles going back and forth in their head. It's like, I want to go now because for, for some of you, this person is, person is risking the chance of losing you, trying to please these people, trying to give these people time enough to heal. They risking the chance of losing you, and that's why that two of pentacles is showing up next to that three of wands. So, step into your power, child. Don't let these motherfuckers stop you. Because that's exactly what they're trying to do. 
I, they not dumb. That's exactly what this is. Somebody realized what this motherfucker is doing. And this motherfucker doing spell work. Watching y'all every damn move, child. Whoever this person is right here, that's the hater. That's they eyeballs red as fuck because they don't never sleep. All they do is watch y'all and plan and plot. And now I say be careful because you might hear from that person. Don't believe shit this person got to say. Um, they might be doing shit. You know what? Let me look at it. Let me just look at it. I do got my, uh, what's the T cards? Uh, we already at 25 minutes. I just want to look at it for a second. Because somebody might, with that page of ones, that's news. Somebody might try to come at you with some bullshit. Because they mad they've been left and they still holding on. Like I said, that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Once you tell a motherfucker you done with him and they can't let go, then who fought is that? Yep. Scarcity tactics. I can't live without you. I'm lose my life. I'm gonna do this. I'm just like, bruh, what the fuck? Go here. Go here, child. Okay. See? Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. Low IQ. Somebody ain't got it all. And that's that motherfucker who eyeballs red as hell because they won't go to sleep. All they do is watch you. They, this person think they, that tree talking to them. I don't know. And see, somebody's at risk of losing their children. Because they getting, oh, Lord have mercy. They, they don't never got no facts, okay? They always sitting right here making shit up. That's why I said, I just literally said, don't believe what this person say if they come towards you. Because they making shit up. And they neglecting their child because they sitting right here trying to sabotage you and this person. They about to, look, kids at risk of being taken, neglect, abuse. This person ain't got no business with the kids, no way. Talking to that damn tree. They ain't got no business with this child. And then you got kissing ass coming up in the reverse. Man, listen. Somebody else is, it's like, as your person is hooked on you, this person with the low IQ is hooked on them. Man. Yeah, I told you they got them red ass eyeballs because they don't never fucking sleep. All they do is watch y'all and try to sabotage y'all. This person really needs to chill the fuck out. Okay? So that's what's going on, man. Yep, a closer look. Nose all up in your business. Like I said with that six of wands. They watching the fuck out that king of swords and watching you. Because they know this person want to come towards you. But that King of Swords knows it. And so that King of Swords is like trying to give it enough time. But the person that's watching ain't going to let go. They got a low IQ. They don't, they'll watch your ass for seven years. That's my husband. That's still my husband. That's my husband. Like, bruh. Yeah, I've been divorced seven years. What the fuck is you talking about? Okay. So anyway, child. I don't know. I don't even know who reading this is, so I'm just taking away it resonate. If it don't resonate, don't take it, child. Till next time. Bye.